chief. You'll be making a mistake if you join up with Tope. It's only a matter of time before his luck runs out. Tope has gods who breathe fire. Call for all tribes to fight beside him. Not easy to keep young warriors from the warpath. I know your braves are restless. But you're wise enough not to let them lose their lives in a war they cannot win. Keep the peace with honor, chief. I promise you won't regret it. You have always been a good friend to the Endon. I believe you. Come, we smoke the pipe of peace. Wait here, and for heaven's sake, stay out of trouble. Trouble? What does he think we are, a couple of rubes? Well, Reese, with Tope making all the other Indians riled up, we're taking our lives in our hands just walking into a village, even a small one like this. <laughs> Say, Chad, yeah. you don't happen to have the time, do you? Reese, not again. Well, now, I wouldn't want my friend getting jealous over an old buddy that got a gift for saving a man's life. Yeah. <laughs> the jeweler didn't know what a monster he was making. Well, it's even got a doohickey on it for guys like you that can't even tell time. Now, here, listen. Oh, boy, am I hungry, Chad. We ain't had nothing to eat since sunup. And even then, it was cold beans. Well, hang on, Reese. We'll be hitting the trail pretty soon. Well... Hey, Chad, come here. What is it now? You think maybe I could buy some of them ribs? Yeah, I reckon. Watch out. The pie guns are pretty shrewd bargainers. Oh, now, they ain't gonna put nothing over on me. Say, how do you say sale and pie gan, huh? Uh, let me see. I think it's, uh, Agara. 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 I got it. Ha. Me? Bye. You? Agara? Food. Agara. What'd you want? Oh, uh, Agara. Her? Cooking. Agara. Two dollar. Two dollars? Two dollars for a mess of ribs? Why, you old thief, I'll give you a dollar. Now, Reese, I think maybe... Just let me handle this, Chad. I said one dollar. One dollar half. Reese, now look, just, just let me handle this now, will you, Chad? Now, this is my last offer. One dollar. One dollar. <laughs> you see, Chad, I told you I'd get the best of them. Well, you not buy food. You buy squaw. <laughs> now, wait just one minute. You mean to tell me I bought that? Yeah, it looks like you did, old buddy, and quite a bargain, too. Bargain? Why, you old robber, give me that dollar back. Reese, now, wait a minute. Take it easy. Captain said stay out of trouble, remember? Remember, he just cheated me out of a dollar. Reese, will you just... What's going on here? Well, Reese, what kind of a mess have you gotten into this time? No mess at all, Captain. I went and bought me some of them ribs that he tried to give me this old squaw here. He buy squaw. Now he try to cheat me. Captain, that ain't what happened at all. Oh, quiet, Reese. We'll have to get out of this without hurting anybody's feelings. Well, what about my feelings, Captain? My ranger would like to sell back squaw. How much? Take she ten dollar. Ten dollars? He sold her for one? Pay the man, Reese. No, Captain, he knows I ain't got no ten dollars. I told you they were pretty shrewd bargainers, Reese. Well, what's so smart about asking me for something I ain't got? Take, uh, bucks make music? My watch. Now, Captain, you listen. I don't care what you say, I just ain't gonna do it. Do I have to, Captain? Of course not, Reese. You can marry the squaw. Boy, you, you sure give a fella some choice. If you're through shopping around, I think it's time we headed back to Laredo. Well, that's nothing too soon for me. He's attacked Fort McWilson. I'm going to Summitville for help. Summitville? They'll never make it back in time. Let's see what we can do to help.
trained them well. Why not? I'm the best the army had. I told you I was a bargain, Tope. Many of my people die. Are these weapons so valuable? Gatling guns, cannon, Winchester rifles. And they're worth a thousand braves. When I get through training your men how to use those weapons, I'll be able to wipe out a regiment. Uh, look. much longer. Oh, Tope, I'd like to break his rotten neck. There were too many of them for us, Captain. They just kept coming. Trained more like soldiers than Indians. I know. This isn't the first time, Sergeant. Dupe has hit outposts on both sides of the border. He claims his land belongs to his people and he wants it back. Well, it's about time we give him a little what fur, huh, Captain? Once he trains those men with those new guns, there'll be no stopping him. Well, then we we better nail him down now, huh, Captain? Get Eric and Joe, and don't waste a second. Yeah, right. Dupe's got a whole army, Captain. Trying to stop him with four rangers is suicide. They haven't got one chance in a million. Those are the best odds they've had all month. Maybe I should send only three. Targets. That's kid stuff. You picked it, friend. Sure, sure, but you wouldn't want to double up on a man-sized target, would you? It's your money. Twenty dollars. You can't snuff that out. Well, you afraid to make a man-sized bet? Now that's a pretty tough piece of work, friend. <laughs> you hear that? I knew he'd yell out. I'll bet my thirty to your twenty. Wait a second. Let him push it up to 40. Well, make it 40 to 20, okay? <clears throat> you suckered me into upping that bet? That's right, he did. And you can pay right here, because $40 is exactly what he owes me from the last poker game. shot. Out this way, uh, people kind of frown on a sore loser, friend. That's I right. I wasn't going for my gun. Well, I was... Of course you weren't. You were, uh, you were going for your wallet, weren't you? You know, last fellow that uh, went for his wallet like that, uh, we call him Lefty now, don't we? Yeah, it's a shame, too, because he uh, ruined a very promising career at the violin. Now, get out of here. Well, let's get Eric and get moving, huh? Yeah, let's go. He's, uh, he's over to Anita's. Anita's. Anita's, that's my girl. Words are so inefficient. Then you do love me. Of course. And you will marry me. It's against the regulations. Liar! You lied to me when you said you loved me. You don't love me. You only wanted to use me as a plaything. I'm going to kill you. This must be the place. Take She always did shoot a mite to the left. Now, ain't them fellas Anita's brothers? Yep. Uh-huh. And ain't they the ones that 
beat up anybody they catch even looking at their sisters. Yeah. And what are they doing here? I don't know. Somebody must have told them some guy was trying to flirt with their sister or something. Good, 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 good. Hit him. Hit him hard. <laughs> I just wonder. I just wonder who could have been so rotten and low down to do a thing like that. I don't know. That's it, Willie. Trip him. Excuse me. Back to the war. No, 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 not that way. That way, right straight up. That's the boy. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Willie. Hit him with his chair. Figure Larry could use a hand. Oh, no, I don't think it'd be right to, to mix into a family quarrel, Joe. No, I guess not. <laughs> don't, don't let him get out. I'll bet you a double eagle that he comes out through the window. I'll take the front door. Oh, all right, I'll take the back door. Don't, don't let him get away. It won't be long now. No, sir. <laughs> Go on now, who'd have figured a rope? Uh, I guess a good general always keeps open an avenue of retreat. Well, I guess we'd better get him a horse. Like they disappeared in a thin air. Our pack train carrying Gatling guns, a cannon, and all that ammunition can just disappear. Well, maybe they can't, but they did. Well, Taos is about a dozen miles east. Maybe they saw some. Let's find out. All right. Forgive my daughter. My daughter who will not listen to her father. Father, I will not marry him. I cannot. You will do as the gods wish. The gods wish that I marry Garth, and they are no gods of mine. Do not speak so. They are cruel. They do not feel. I hate them. You will marry Garth. Ah. Four Texas Rangers have invaded our land. They are in Taos. Well, that isn't any problem to obey. When we get through, nobody will ever know they've been there. Now, if my bride to be will give me a farewell kiss. You know, princes, I've been part of many a wicked triangle, but this is the most interesting. I love you, you love your father, and your father loves power. Who knows, perhaps we'll all get what we want, huh? May you never return. Princess, you don't understand. I'm what we call the proverbial bad penny. I always return. Ah, 
right, let's fan out and find out what's going on around here. All right, I'll check the post office. No, I think I'll check the saloon. You know, people tell bartenders everything these days. Uh-huh, sure, sure. Come to think of it, uh, <clears throat> I forgot something in that saloon. You ain't never been in that saloon in your whole life and you know it. Well, then maybe I'll find something. Putting you two in the same place with one girl's like like throwing a pork chop between a lion and a tiger. <laughs> Thank you. There's an Indian on the roof over here. Oh, wonderful. Oh, really? Well, I think I'll go and join Eric for that little drink now. It's a good idea, Chad. We'll wait out here. Twin brother was in town. You join us for a drink? <laughs> certainly, certainly. Uh, there's a few engines on the rooftops outside. Oh. It is always a pleasure drinking with a gentleman. Salute. Well now, that's real cute. I was been told that monkey was particular who we drank with. Are you uh, particular whom you drink with? Huh? Monkey says you're a liar. Come to think of it, you look like a liar. Whatever the occasion. Tope just left. You boys like to have a drink. I'd love one, thank you. Uh, now listen, Joe and me will follow now. Now you and Chad, uh, stick around and see what you can find out and follow us. Right. <coughs> <laughs> Do I get to have some too, partner? There you go. What's going on? Sheriff, there is a drunken monkey in that saloon with a gun. Now, somebody called him a people's uncle, and he just tore the place apart. All right, come on, outside. All right, let's... Well, I'm glad you could make it, Sheriff. What is all this? Bushwhackers, Sheriff. Who are you? Texas Rangers. We'll help you put these two here away. I don't need help from Texas Rangers or anybody else. All right. Good. All right, let's go. Huh. You know, Chad, I think we'd better ask that barkeep a few questions. Yeah, he better have some answers, too. Two of them are trailing poor ye. Well, now, that might work out real nice, huh? Sam, you're doing a good job. You keep it up, I'll tell Tope to give you a raise.
Ordner! Schau! Her! Fester! Schau! Her! Fester! Schau! I am pleased with this drill. You should be, Tope. Your brains have worked hard. Of course, I realize you can't be pleased with the way I fumbled the job in Taos. Not displeased. A man who always succeeds believes he's equal to gods. But I will not be pleased if you fail again. I think that one there is Tope. Uh-huh. And next to him is the guy who jumped us in Taos. So the sheriff is working for Tope. He signaled the Indian we've been following to give us a run around, lead us here. Uh huh, right into a trap. Uh, he's a cute fella, that Tope. Well, we wanted to find him, and we did. Uh huh. Well, the question is do we grab him now or later? It is etiquette to arrest the general in front of his army. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. I apologize, that's very unsanitary. Employees return. Those rangers can't be far behind. and bellows back here. Looks like Tope is not only a great general, but a good plumber as well. Uh-huh. You feel just a bit out of place here. Yeah. yeah. white man can enter the temple at this hour. That doesn't apply to me. I'm going to marry your princess, and I'll be your blood brother. Until that time, you are not one of us. All right. You know, once Tope clears this territory of soldiers and settlers, we're going to have a nice, clean, wide, open country for ourselves. Then all we'll have to do is get rid of a few stubborn Indians. Come on.
You know the story of Romeo and Juliet. Nope. Well, there was this sheep herder, Romeo, who fell in love with this cattleman's daughter, Juliet. Tell it to me on the way. Right now, Romeo, I think we better tippy two out of here. Yeah. Well, my friends, you must be wondering why I called you all together. We are looking for information leading to the arrest of Tope, the medicine man. Now, in addition to a handsome reward of $50, a good life awaits all those who give up their evil ways. Hunting and fishing, doing nothing but having fun. Mm -mm. You should learn to live like us, working hard from morning till night, struggling against the bitter elements to make things grow. You keep talking like that and I'm going to throw in with Elma. Fifty dollars. Enough to buy some bright young Indian a brand new teepee. All you have to do is tell us where to find Tope. Ah, ready to give yourself up, huh? All right, fifty dollars to your favorite charity. Thank you anyway. You learn anything? Oh, everybody in this town's got buttons on their lips. Hmm. They hear the name Tope and they, they turn so soft in the chops they can hardly stand. Yeah, I know. What about that girl that suckered you into the saloon? Ah, same story the bartender gave. They were told it was all a joke. Well, some joke. I'm going down to check with the sheriff. Them prisoners ought to know something. All right, I'll get the horses. Afternoon. Afternoon, Sheriff. I'd like to see our prisoners. First off, they're not your prisoners. All right, then. I'd like to see your prisoners. Why? Well, my friends, they set out to trail one of them bushwhackers to Tope's hideout. They ain't come back. Most folks who go to find Tope don't. Yeah, well, that's just why I want to see your prisoners. They ain't nobody's prisoners no more. No? They escaped less than an hour after they were put behind bars. You don't say. Easy to see for yourself. I got but one cell in this jail. Slickest pair of escape artists I ever did meet. And that's the truth. You wouldn't know the truth if it hit you in the face. All right, mister, that's just about enough out of you. If I called you a downright liar and a rootin' hog, Sheriff, would you have the guts enough to draw on me? My job is to keep the peace, not to cause a ruckus. Well, I figured you wouldn't have the guts. So there ain't no sense in me calling you what you really are. A downright liar and a rootin' hog. But you listen to this and you listen good. If because you let them two skunks skip out, one of my friends has so much as a little callus on his pinky finger, I'm coming after you. And you're going to be callous so bad you'll never stand, and you'll never stand again as long as you live. Shit. You are young, Ranger. You think your few men can fight the gods. Frankly, I think your gods are full of hot air. And I know where it comes from, too. What you know will die with you. Tomorrow, our gods will have your blood. That stuff went out with the Mayans at Kazumir. It will return at sunup. It's your wigwam. <laughs> But if you don't mind, we'll just hang around here for a while, I'll part. You will not laugh so much tomorrow. <laughs> You're wasting a lot of time, Tope. I'd kill him now and make good target practice. No. Tomorrow we'll soon be here. And you must find two more Texas Rangers. Like I said, he's a real cute one, isn't he? And a charming host. I'm sorry. Really. 
Princess, it was worth it all. We met you. Even Indian maidens have heard of the handsome ranger with the forked tongue. As such is the value of a good reputation. You must not blame my people for your trouble. Our lands were stolen from us. True, the lands were yours. But there are settlers who live on them now. My father will not kill women and children. Oh, he'll have to. And your people will be murderers just like the Comanches. That is what I told my father. You cannot win. Soldiers will come in large numbers and destroy you. But if there is no fighting, well, then send representatives to Washington. Make a treaty. Get back the rights to your land. What can I do? There are two rangers in the foothills above Towers, about six miles west. You will send them to Captain Palmer Lee. I'll go. Hold on a minute. Take a piece of his shirt. That way they'll know you're a friend. <laughs> the greatest sacrifice I've ever seen you make, Eric. Oh, anything for a friend. Yeah, let me see. Uh, figure the odds on us getting out of here about, uh, about a thousand to one. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to bet? <laughs> We must not let rangers warn their people. Don't worry, they won't. They'll be hung out to dry by morning. About our arrangement regarding your daughter and me, I think it's time we settle. When attack begins, she will become your bride. No, my friend, let's make it a day. After I bring back those rangers? As you wish. as a friend. Hello. Yeah. Piece of Eric's shirt. How do you know that? I can tell by the messenger. He'd find a girl in a monastery. Now, don't that beat all. Here, we're worried about him getting scalped, and he's been playing John Alden to Pocahontas here. John Smith. John Alden married Priscilla. Well, what difference does it make what I mean? It still adds up to footsy, tomahawk style. You must hurry to warn your captain. Tope will attack Taos at dawn. How about Eric and Joe? It is too late to save them. Well, now, who says there uh, ain't? Now, Chad, you go warn Parmalee. I'll go get Eric and Joe. You warn Parmalee. I'll go. Now, look, Chad, I said I'll go. And I said I'll go. Nobody goes anywhere. You know... Tope's sacrifice is a kind of messy. You two are gonna wish we'd kill you back in Taos. Oh, that just reminds me. There was something I forgot to do in Taos. What? <laughs> Whatever happened to the good old peace pipe? Shoving your sidewinder, I got legs. Yeah, and I have easy. Nice of you to drop in. Oh, we wouldn't miss one of your parties. Hey, you kind of got yourselves hung up, haven't you? You didn't bring along a large army with you, did you? We didn't even get a chance to warn Captain Parmley. What? After all that trouble to send them a message. You sent us a pack of Indians. That's what you sent us. Well, I would have gotten back with a message. <laughs> what are you laughing at, prune face? Brave Rangers, you are soon to die. And you snarl like Jekyll. Don't you call my friend a Jekyll, you I ain't a while out of Jekyll. I hate to spoil your fun, Tope, but I delivered these men COD. Now, if you don't mind, I'll go to your tent and collect my bride. Not dawn yet. That doesn't matter to me. It's time. The sun is rising. The priests await your orders. Kill those two now. Fat one with long tongue first. Fine, will you dry your boat? Look like a couple of regular cut ups. Ah! Oh! Hey! Ah! Hey! 
die. Oh, thanks a lot, Bart. I appreciate that. Joe and I'll get the Gatlin guns. Wouldn't have a chance against that. If we're lucky, we'll get that ammo. Okay, we'll get the cannons on the north end. Well, let's start on our page, Joe. Okay. The priest. They must be coming for the sacrifice. This way. We're not getting out of here any too soon. You said it, pal. Those knives are long and sharp. Hey, let's go, Chad. Hurry. Yeah, I was just thinking. Look, this is no time to start something new. <laughs> no, seriously, I was thinking about Anita and what a dirty trick you pulled. You're right. But do you mind if we discuss Anita just a little later? I just don't think it's right, Eric, for a good friend to run around chasing and stealing another good friend's girl. It is despicable. I apologize. Now, if you'll just cut me loose. Well, you know, I think this is a very good time to make a decision about Anita. Now, friend to friend, if you want her that badly, I'll step aside. I'll walk right out of the picture. Hey, wait a minute. Listen, you're, you're my best friend. I wouldn't even consider allowing a woman to come between us. Mm -hmm. She's all yours. Well, now, I don't want to influence your decision. Of course not. That's why we are friends. She's all yours. I insist. Well, if you insist. I insist. <clears throat> Behind you! Ideas. How are we gonna get that Gatlin gun now? Why well, ask me? I don't know everything, you know. I know. The cannons are that way. Hurry. Forgive my curiosity, but you seem to be going in the wrong direction. Tactics. Girls. You have so little trust. You have so little character. You and your tactics! God, there's a princess! I was hoping to save her! Get rid of him at the same time! Hey, what is this? A conspiracy? Whoa! Not bad. Thought of anything yet? Give me a little time, will you? Sure, sure, Reese. We got all day. Life was worth it. Now let's go, Princess. There must be some place more peaceful than this. I'm out of ammo, Joe. Sack of feathers. No. He better lay off the chow. Now look here, wise guy. I think we're gonna run out of bullets before we run out of Indians, Bart. Well, we still got our hands. 
Yeah, if we could have just gotten a hold of that ammo. It appears my father will have his sacrifices after all. Princess, you are a genius. Hold them off. I need a few minutes. I've only got two shots left. I'm out. Here. Let him in. You gotta be kidding. We ain't giving up never. I'm with Reese. Great. Gentlemen, trust me. Well, all right, if you won't trust me, then at least trust my ability to be treacherous. He's got a point there. Yeah, he's got a bunch of them. Reese, what do you think? Well, all right. But if they scalp us, I'm gonna break every bone in your body. All right. You win, Tope. We give up. Better be good, partner. Kill them. The gods demand it. Wait. To pay lies. The gods do not want war. They want peace. My people, listen. The gods will make us great. Our nation will rise again. The gods have deserted Tope. Kill them! The gods cry out for peace. Look. Giving up Anita out of pure friendship. Beautiful woman like that, Eric. Reese and I thought maybe you'd back out on the deal. Oh, no. My word is my bond. I promised him that Anita would be all his. And so she is. Suppose they found out this time. Certain wonders never seem to be. Dirty monster! Get him! Get him hard! This time I'll bet he comes out the roof. Me too. That's good, Willie! That's good! Gentlemen, all bets are covered. What makes you so sure he ain't coming out that roof? I nailed the trapdoor shut this morning. Again. <laughs> Good day, madam. I must apologize for the noise of this quaint frontier town, but I know a charming little cafe where the wine is cool and we can have a pleasant afternoon and a pleasant conversation. Yo! Don't, don't let him get out! Oh, he must have tried to go. <laughs> Come on, Reese. 
drinks around me.